Hello everyone, welcome to Play Canvas Office Hours, where we work through problems post posted by the community. I'm Steven Yao, otherwise known as Yasta on the forums, and today we're looking at a uh, Zappa AR issue. So um, Zappa AR is a, I guess a, like a middleware library um, that allows you to do AR experiences through the browser using uh, different uh, engines. So they got, I believe they got a runtime for 3.js, A-Frame, and uh, as well as we can see here, site of Play Canvas as well. And a couple of people uh, posted in the last couple of days where they were having trouble using Zapper AR with the uh, look at function on DNC where it wasn't looking in the correct direction. And uh, so I just want to take a look at this because um, now that a couple of people are having the issue, it may rather than what I used to be, or what I used to do was uh, point them towards a Zapper uh, forums to have them help because uh, the look at function works on Play Canvas. It just doesn't work when that Zapper is enabled. So something on Zapper is causing that to go wrong, and they're probably in the best position to work out like, what uh, what is the issue. Um, that said, uh, now that a couple of issue people have like uh, have mentioned it on the forums, I thought I would be best to look at it briefly. And uh, this user, uh, I think I kindly type, created a sample project for us to take a look at, um, which I will fork. And the thing to note is that they've actually managed to work around the issue here. So for us to look at the root cause, we uh, I would need to fork their project, undo their fix, and get to the wrong result first. So let's do that now. So the fork. And we call this, uh, which call it, uh, F8, F at Zappa look at issue. Well done. Go to the editor. All right. Um, so let's take a look at this now. So we don't need to go with new. Um, so let's give this a run now. I believe when I run this, it will ask us to look in the browser. Okay, cool. Uh, so look at us in the browser. Let me move to phone. Okay, now I've got this on the phone. Uh, here we go on the screen. So you can see here, this is like uh, it working in place. So this is what the uh, this is with the fix in place. So what we want to do is get the fix out of there. So let's do that now. Um, whoops. Where's the screen go? Mm -hmm. Pop that over there. So let me move this back in the right place. There we go. Right. Um, so what we need to do is now actually uh, undo the fix. So let's run through the code here. Where are waypoint script? I think it's either in this script or the other ones. Mm -hmm. Get next point. Right, so get this next point angle. So he said remove. So let's get rid of that. We'll get rid at least get rid of the call. Uh and go rotate. Look at target. Okay, so it's basically remove all this. And have this dot nc dot look at. Ah, oh, what's the function? I actually can't remember the function. So look at or look at. Uh Primary components, blah, 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 inherited, methods. Ah, look at, there we go, that's what I'm looking at. Look at, and it takes a vector, so it's a target position. So let's do it. Uh, so we don't need entity position. Actually, we don't need that either. Get position. Should we get local position? That should be get, that should be get position. Get well position because uh, what look at does it does it in global space not in local space so i believe that is all i need to do um to make this a bit easier to deal with what we're going to actually do as well is get it work make sure uh, make sure it works without slapper first so to make it a bit easier what i'm going to do is create a, a bunch of spheres uh scale that down a little bit And also give the a material to use. 
just to make this easier to see in debug. Uh, so it goes new material, uh, diffuse, make this red. Okay, cool. Uh, and I believe it's the character. Here you go. So character, let's move this into finger jig. So the character is the thing that's moving around the different boxes. Okay, so uh, the other thing we need to do now to make it work in the launch tab normally is to disable all the zapper stuff. Uh, so let's disable that, that, and the tracker. So we run this now. Uh, why can't I do it? Hmm? Oh, oh, that's interesting. Oh, they didn't make it as a... Okay. I thought they made it into a... They didn't make it into a function. Uh, in that case. In that case, let me undo this. I got this. Uh, let me undo the work here. Just so... Let's just do... Let's do it here. So initialize, look at target, la la. So what I'm going to do is create a new function. Uh, move... Look at next waypoint. <laughs> this dot nt dot look at and it would be next waypoint so waypoint let's see Okay, so it does it, and then we just change this to be this dot look at, and we get rid of the empty. Don't know about that. Copy, paste, get rid. Format. Okay, let's try it again. We refresh this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Of course, we're, the camera's in a different place. So cameras is bang in the middle of the thing. That's not useful. So let's move that to somewhere a bit more. There we go. Run that again. Oh, why is it going all the way over there? Uh, let's see, next waypoint. Why isn't it moving towards next waypoint? Console, da da da. Translate local, this speed. Oh, I see, okay. Oh, okay, so it's moving towards the waypoint. Uh, it's on the speed. So look at, seems to be going in the wrong direction. Where's the, so it seems to be going that way instead of the other way. Let me take a look at this again. So waypoint one, that's waypoint one. Okay, what's waypoint two? Okay, so it looks like it's going in the opposite direction to where it should be going at. And this is because um, forward is actually on the negative z-axis. So uh, if you consider RGB, R is the right, so X, Y is the up axis, and forward is the, uh, sorry, for, so Z is the blue axis of RGB. Uh, except because we're using a particular handiness in our system, is negative, uh, negative Z is forward. I say forward in quotation marks. So really, this is pointing in the wrong direction. So what we're going to do to make this work. Why is it? But still, it should go in the right direction. Even then, it should. Oh, right. I see now. Yeah. If it's looking at. It should still move towards it. Why is it going? Is it because it's going? Translate local. This dot speed. Oh, uh, yeah, because we're moving along the negative Z. Okay, so this should be minus first, because if it's translate local and it's going, we want to go forward, we have to go in the negative Z axis, which is great. So now it's boom. Yep. Yep. 
Okay, and now because everything's uh the cone's looking the opposite way, or we just rotate the cone effectively. So 180. And uh, move the cone. No, everything was right. Awesome. Okay, so this is now working in uh working in oh, did I rotate the camera by accident? I did. No, this is actually now working in uh which will world space. So this is working without Zapper. Okay. Uh, I just want to let me just make this a little bit actually you know what? I wanted to move it above the board, but it doesn't really matter for this specific case. We just want to make sure that the look at thing is working rather than making this look nice. Okay, so what we're gonna do is re-enable Zapper. Which is the three different scripts. That's not a good idea. So uh, we enable Zapper, Zapper, Zapper camera, Zapper browser. Oh, I don't know what that is. Uh, and Zapper instant. Okay. So we can no longer run this on the mobile on the desktop browser. We're going to move to mobile again. Okay. And uh, let me just get it ready off screen. And. Oh. That's weird. Why is that a funny angle? So I'm, I'm just looking at this now, and it's not aligning to how I expected it to be, which is a bit odd. It's, oh, I think it's because I moved the camera. Maybe I'm not allowed to move the camera. Okay, let me put this back to where it was. Maybe it's just using... Ah, uh, yeah, maybe... Uh, I reckon it's because I moved the camera. And... Uh, so let me get the other screen back on. There we go. Here we go. Uh, let me refresh that. So yeah, this is now working. Uh, that's weird. It rotates oddly like that, though. I think it's now working. I think the way it looks at is taking the uh, weld Y into account rather than the local Y. So the reason why so I'm looking at this and uh, seeing that in some cases it's rotated along its, its local Z axis. And this is because look at by default uses the world Y, so the global space Y to as it's kind of like up. Uh, but because we're using a tracker, we're using like AR where the, uh, this, uh, the I guess I guess the world, the tracker world, the ARness, the virtual world, um, is orientated to match. It's being rotated to match the level of the uh, of whatever it's tracking. Uh, world Y is no longer the same at its own Y axis. So we, instead, what we're going to do, uh, if we go back to the code, is when we look at position, we will do this. Uh, so you can see we've got a. There should be a separate. There we go. Uh, let me go to the let me go to the uh, documentation. Explain this a bit better. Uh, there's look at where we can a pass the 3D vector. This will be the world space up coordinate. So otherwise, the world component would be the world space coordinate to look at. So yeah, um, we can pass not only the look at point but also a y axis to effectively uh, rotate around and orientate the correct way. Because if you uh, if you assume an object looks at another object. Um, it can do that on so many different axes. It can it's not only kind of look at it. Uh, we naturally we assume it will only look at it all one way inside the way we orientate ourselves uh, in the world. But in reality, it can look at the same point, but uh, rotate. Um, it can also rotate as like multiple different ways in terms of. Uh, it can rotate. It could still be looking at that point while being rotated fully on its uh, local Z axis. So what we're going to do here is get rid of that launch tab because we don't need it. And look at the look at, and we go uh, this dot entity dot. Should we use the parent? Maybe we should use the parent. Uh, we can use the parent y axis, or should we use its own y axis? Um, let's use it. Let's try it with its own local uh, axis for a moment. Actually, no. I can. You know, I'm going to use the parent because the way this is set up. Uh, the parent effectively is the world, and we should always do it in the in the parent space. So we do the parent dot up. So in theory, let me uh, unlock the phone again and run this. 
on the mobile tablet, on the mobile phone. All right, let me go back on screen. Here we go. So no matter how I rotate it, it's always looking in the right axis. Cool, okay. So let's see if I can explain this um, in a sort of second way. What's happened is that um, is that because uh, Zappa AR is orientating the of what is effectively let me move this up right way what is orientating now oh, it's gone this let me just object one blah blah, blah 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 default well only compatibility instant tracker Facebook account. okay so effectively what um what's going on is that uh, Zappa AR it's taking what is called this instant tracker and it's placing it in the orientation that matches the thing it's tracking. So I think in this case it's tracking the floor um, or uh, a flat surface and it's rotating this object, uh, this instant tracker, to match the orientation of whatever it's tracking. So if it's upside down, if, sorry, if it's at an angle, it will rotate the instant tracker at an angle. And because of that, the way Lookout works um, will when it when you call it normally with just the point to look at it will take the world y axis uh as the kind of like up for and uh for the up for the uh object that you're uh that is look at is being called upon which in this case is uh this box or this ch character and because of that it will always rotate itself where its local y matches the world y and that makes it twist around its local z axis that you saw earlier and the way we get around that is to pass a second parameter of the up that we want it to match, which is uh, which we'll take, uh, which we're using the parent for. So we take we're taking the parent of that, which we the instant tracker, and using that local y, uh, so this uh, green arrow, uh, to be its uh, effectively to be its local axis. Uh, to, and to show you, so it's best to show you, uh, show you this in uh, in Play Canvas is let me disable all the uh, Zapper stuff again and undo the work because I can actually reproduce this without Zappa now. Uh, so get rid of that and uh, let's just play that to make sure that works. Oh, so yeah, need to move the camera. Oops. Let me move the camera. So, okay, so that's where it is at the moment. And then if I rotate this, um, let's say I rotate this like this. And do that. Oh, yeah, let me undo the fix. What's up if I undo the fix first? You can see here it's twisted. That's because it's local. Uh, as I say, it's twisted. It's sometimes twisted because it's kind of random which way it takes it. But it's local up axis of the character is now matching the world up, which is uh, effectively, which is this, this green arrow now. Whereas in world space, and the way we get around it is to t let's say use the y uh, the parents up for your own up when you orientate yourself to look at a point. So we undo that and refresh that, and now it's up the way it's rotated uh, on the character is always going to match the orientation of a parent, which is the instant tracker square. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna re re-enable back everything again and then give this back to uh the original poster uh with the explanation that I've given here. And hopefully that will get both users uh sorted out in terms of like why isn't it working the way they expect it to go. Thank you very much and we hope to see you next time. Bye.